So we're here at the Ebonite booth and I had the choice to talk to somebody here and uh, this is the one and only <laughs> Andrew Anderson who just won, what'd you win? The you won like a local Masters. regional or something? Yeah, no? yeah. 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 local USBC okay. Masters. Local USBC Masters, man, congrats. Awesome bowling, man. Really good to see that. For those of you who aren't living under a rock and you've been watching some of the videos that uh, Ebonite's been doing, you've seen that he's been uh, featured on the Choice video, uh, working out of uh, Bowling IQ in Detroit, yep. right? So kind of explain to us like the whole idea behind the Choice. Um, you got a chance to throw a couple of test balls. Yeah, kind of so, work off of that. Uh, last year, like if you saw the video, you saw that uh, we talked about how last year the verdict came out and a bunch of pro shop operators threw it to the side which one they're going to go with. They influence a lot of the decision in what pro shop operators want to see. So with the choice, we did something very similar. Uh, we gave it to some pro shop operators uh, and they sent me a test ball A and B. This was test ball B, uh, outstanding. And in the first game I threw them both, both balls were pretty good, but this one really stood out to me. The colors were really cool looking. Uh, they wanted something like the verdict that wasn't as smooth, something that retained energy more and hooked more down the lane, and uh, I think we got just that. So a good compliment to the verdict, verdict pearl. Yeah. Um, you know, Andrew, what what would be like a, if you had to pack a three-ball roller with you to go to a tournament, the Montreal Open, but you're not coming because uh, I might. Oh, you, you're know. thinking about it, okay? You, you guys need to hit him up on Facebook or or Instagram. Make sure that he comes out. So if you were to pack three balls today. Like what, what What? would be some of the balls that you would pack in your bag for a tournament arsenal? You know, um, I'm a huge fan of the Black Paradox. I, when this comes out, it'll definitely make its way in. It resembles the Black Paradox to me. It's a little weaker uh, and it's a little cleaner. But um, the Black Paradox is just so strong. We need to step down from it. So when that ball changed from the Black Paradox, I have something to go to. So that's what they kind of, so that's, that's what that resembles. Uh, I'm a huge fan of a ham and robin pearl. Um, and I, I like to throw a little bit of everything. I go across the brands pretty well. Uh, and the hammer rebel yell, it's hard not to like that after I won on Yeah, TV after you win that with that. So. Yeah, so cool. Really cool. All right, um, so that's the top three from uh, none other than Andrew Anderson. So again, dude, thanks for your time. Thanks, Keep Mark. it up. Best of luck for the rest of the season. And uh, make sure to follow him on Instagram. Yeah, man. Uh, what's your handle? At A Anderson 300. Cool. So check it out. Check out Ebonite.com. Uh, check out Ebonite YouTube page as well for all their product videos. And again, thanks for tuning in. All right, bold to win. Yes. Good. All right, hey Ebonite fans, Mark Buffa here from Buffa Distribution with the one and only, the GOAT, Team USA anchor. Although we did beat you in trios that one year. I don't remember that. No? Okay, uh, mate, there's a YouTube link for that. Uh, you can't find it anymore. We deleted it. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Uh, Great seeing you again here today at the product showcase. Um, let's talk a little bit about product. So we got the brand new choice. Um, that's uh, something pretty cool that uh, the team at Ebonite came up with, like in terms of you know sending out seed balls to pro shops right. and, and making them choose. Hence the choice. Right. Um, so you, you've been throwing it for today, I think, for the first time. Uh, give us a little bit of your first impressions with this compares to and go from there. Uh, and we've had it a couple weeks, you know, it's, it's a ball that uh, I think we're going to get a lot of use out of. It reminds me uh, a, a decent amount like a Black Paradox. It's pretty predictable. Uh, it feels a little cleaner, maybe a little more in the back end. Um, it's just a, a ball that, you know, you're going to be able to use on a lot of different things. You can use on some short patterns if you want to put some surface on it to get it started. Or even later in the blocks if you want to take something and really shine it up to get it down lane and get it flip. Good stuff. You know, you've had tremendous success on tour over the last couple of years. Um, what have been some of the staples in your bag, you know, from tournament to tournament? I know you guys bowl in different patterns, but we all know that, you know, good bowlers like to gravitate towards certain balls. What's, what's, what's like your go-to stuff right now? Um, you know, for me right now, I still, I still use the Black Paradox a lot. Uh, Maverick Pearls have been you know, balls that I've had in my bag, uh, you know, a lot. Anything symmetric we can find, obviously all the game breakers are great to have, you know, especially for tournament bowling and all that stuff. You know, and then you got to have some stuff on the other end. I really think we're going to get a lot of use out of the Black Vibe. The remake of the Black Vibe yep. seems to be pretty good. Uh, you know, just a wide variety of things, but as much symmetrical stuff as we can get that we can use on the last stuff. Great stuff. Ebonite fans, make sure you check out the choice. Also, a couple new products coming out later in the season. Can't talk about them just yet, but some pretty cool stuff. Make sure you follow Tommy on all social media platforms, ebonite.com, buffabowling.com. Tommy, thanks for your time, brother. No problem. Thanks for having yeah, me. See all right, hey Hammer fans, Mark Buffa here from Buffa Distribution, alongside the real deal, Bill O'Neill. Bill, 
we used to bowl college together. Well, right. you were you were out when I was coming in as a freshman, so uh, it's great to see you go up in the ranks, bowling Team USA, PBA, yeah. multiple time titleist. Appreciate it. Hats off to, you, to what you're doing, man. It's Thank really you. awesome to see. So let's talk product. Uh, Scandal was an awesome nameplate for the Hammer brand. Now we got the brand new Scandal S. Um, so. What's this compared to the Scandal Scandal Pearl to you? Right. So the uh, the original Scandal was one of my one of my favorite balls. I use it I use it all, all the time, especially on the fresh, uh, early in blocks, sharper back ends, really smoothed out the at the pattern. And this ball is a good complement to that. It's a little bit longer, you know, a little cleaner, a little more down lane motion than you would get out of the uh, uh, original Scandal, and and not as clean as the Scandal Pearl. So it kind of fits in between. So with the existing balls in the line, where would this compare? Would this be like? A ball up from a gold widow. What, what would it'd be, this it'd be, to? A, it'd be like a more like a rounded shaped version of like a diesel. Okay. Where the you know, diesel was like rollier. Uh, this one will be a more of a more continuous ball, more continuous ball than, than diesel. Okay. Cool. We got a lot of good feedback from this, even from some of the bowlers on the other side. Cross branded. Yeah. Obviously, you guys can throw pretty much everything, and everyone was hooting and raving about this. Yeah. Uh, good step down also from a Paradox Black from what we were hearing. And that, that, so that's another one of my favorites. Those are two, uh, three balls I would use mainly as a Scandal, uh, Rip Solid. He's been watching the webinars before he yeah. even started. I asked that question. <laughs> anyway, right? Paradox Black, Rip Solid, uh, Diesel Scandal. Those are like my four balls. Like start a tournament, right on the rack. Nice. So yes, yeah, so this ball is going to come in handy too. Good stuff. He trusts the Onyx vibe. Yeah. And obviously one of your favorites too, Bill. Yeah. The, the Vibe series has been around now for a year with the Cherry and the yep. Blue Vibe. Uh, you were saying yesterday that you threw the Blue Vibe quite a bit. It's a stronger cover. Yeah. Um, so, so pretty much this, said everything you want to say. This, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> this one, uh, the Onyx Vibe, the old one, was my favorite one. For sure, I use it all the time. Uh, it was great, it was predictable, and it got a little bit drier. It was just a perfect ball. So I'm looking forward to getting this one too. Uh, and uh, you know, it's gonna are be they a the bit... same since you mentioned the old? No, and new? I don't think they're the same. Okay. You know, they're, they're, they're uh, you know a little more modernized. The oils are a lot different. Now. Yeah, they're a little bit different. You know, the oils are so much different now. It's hard to make the balls like you did ten years ago. Okay. But uh, uh, this one's gonna be another good complement to the blue one. It's gonna be more more ball than the blue one and the, and, the, and the cherry one for sure. All right, so make sure you guys check out hammerbowling.com, hoofabowling.com. Also, make sure you follow Bill O'Neill on Instagram. Right. You want to give him your handle? Yeah, so uh, it's my Instagram handle. And it's up, uh, uh, Bill O'Neill1021. We'll put it in the description yeah, I don't know. Below. I forget what it is. We'll you check know, because Instagram, I had to go on there and I had to go through like 30 different names that weren't taken okay. before I got one. So I don't know what it is. That's good. That's <laughs> stuff. All right, Bill. Thanks again. Yeah, Best thank of luck to you on tour this year. And thanks for following us. Take care.